Hey guys, William Inferno here today with another LEGO Bionicle 2016 review. This time we'll be taking a look at Golly, the uh, Uniter of Water. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so, uh, at the end of this review, I will be going over the United uh, Unite Unity version uh, with Akita, and then I will compare Golly to her 2015 counterpart. So let's get right into it. Um, so we have Golly on the front, her Nuva symbol up here, um, some information, Golly Uniter of Water, on the back, you can see the unity between her and Akita. Um, then we have some functions that Golly has um, in the comic. It's basically the same with every comic, how Umarak steals the Mask of Control, and then they, the respective Toa unites with their respective um, creature, and then they take out Umarak. That's basically it. Okay, so um, this set comes with the Golden Mask, um, and I will also show here the silver and blue mask or like a it's a type of blue uh, so I really really like this mask this is one of my favorite masks so far out of Liwo, Pahatu and this one Golly's new mask is really really cool I really like the designs of it I really like how the silver melds with it and especially this beautiful dark trans blue it's just a really nice color it looks like a gel almost it's it's really nicely melded into the gold there and I think it looks really really nice with the gold and as well as the silver and blue uh, so overall new mask is really really nice and of course it does have the uh, Nuva symbol there on the forehead which is really really nice as well um, so yeah a lot of nice detail on that the build for Golly was uh, pretty entertaining. I found that um, she used to, since it was asymmetric, she used a few different connections. Uh, it's notable that there is a lot of black axles used in this set, which black axles really haven't been used that much in the past few years at all, really. Um, I remember in the exosuit we had a few, but these actually are um, regular black axles, they're not red which is a really nice choice by LEGO to use those instead of red because the red would stand out in an incredible amount. I really like how LEGO is like, you know what, it just, it, it would look bad so they used the black ones instead and I think that makes the set look a lot better and there's not really a lot of um, stuff that's going to catch your eye more than the set itself so you won't get annoyed by red axles. Uh, of course, the blue pins actually aren't annoying. The only thing I would say is annoying is uh, this piece right here. It's actually just a half pin, half axle. So it has motion to it, and that could like affect when you're uh, putting the creature of water on there. It might be out of place. You might need to adjust it. Not a huge deal, but um, it would have been fine if they had if they used one of those black ones uh, that is three long and it goes in there. Um, I really like the. Uh, I didn't think I was going to, but I really like the, the light blue bones on top of the dark blue shells. I didn't think I was going to like that, but it actually stands out really nicely and it looks really, really nice on the set. You can't really tell uh, just because they're both different shades of blue. I have to, it's notable that there is also just a slight amount of blue um, or a trans blue on these new armor shell pieces. Um, it's, a really, it's not a very hard blue, it's a very light very uh, light amount of light blue, I guess you could say. And there's two of those on this set. There's also the Vorox armor, which we haven't seen in a while, in orange. This armor plate is actually able to move, it's able to swivel, so you can adjust that how you want. I sort of put it in the middle, I put it kind of diagonally so it's, it covers up everything. There was a little, um, people were saying that attaching the Vorox armor like this is a bit gappy. I actually don't find it too gappy. I mean, there is a gap in there, but uh, you can't really. If your hands or fingers are big enough, you can't really put your finger right through it, so it really works. I would only say that this part is pretty gappy right here. That's kind of the only part of the set that I think is really gappy, and I think it looks kind of funny. Um, but overall, it, it's not terrible. It doesn't really hurt the set that much. And of course, with the asymmetricality, we have the Vorax armor on the opposite uh, side on the arm, which does have a little bit of swivel to it because it's on a pin. Um, and then, of course, we have the armor up here as well. And then we also have this new chest plate, which in my opinion on Golly is, again, one of my favorites so far. I really like how they melded the orange with the blue and they put just a little bit of silver and the silver really accents with the Nuva symbol. And overall it just looks really, really solid. I really love the detail on here. Um, it's just a really, really solid looking piece and I really like the colors that they're using. 
which is another thing I really like about this golly compared to her 2015, how they added the accents of orange in there. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, and then you have this light blue blade. Now, normally, because it's like a, a light blue, um, and it kind of contrasts from the set, you'd think that it, I might call it out on that, and it might get kind of displeasing to look at. But I, it's like it's like the whole thing where I thought the trans light blue would be bad on the trans dark blue. It's really not a huge issue because she is the uniter of water or toe of water, and it, it just doesn't stand out to me. You know, it, it doesn't. It's not an eyesore. It just looks just fine, really. Um, I bet even just watching this review, you can kind of tell it's not really a huge deal as much as some people might have thought it would be. Some people don't like this chain at the end. Uh, let me tell you. I'm not a huge fan of it either, I don't like how it just loops around and such, but Pole Hot 2 is as much worse because it's a boulder. Uh, so be thankful that if LEGO was going to put a chain on, they just put this little piece on here. And overall, it, it doesn't affect really the set in any way. It's a lot easier to move around and it doesn't really get in the way of anything that you, you're doing, you know, with the set. So it's really, really nice. Of course, we have the new hip swivel function, which for some reason, it's like they're making Golly a better set. It's probably just my parts, and you know what, I can guarantee it is just the parts, the brand new parts, but on the other Toa, or on the other Uniters that I've already built, which would be Liwa and Pohatu, there's so much squeaking and just friction going on down here. And with this, there is the friction part, but it's really, really smooth for some reason with this set. It's And again, it's probably just the, the new part. Um, connecting with the the hips, you know, the new uh, gears connecting with the hips. Um, but for some reason on this set, they just went together way smoother, and they work way better. And uh, you you can't hear barely any squeaking. There's probably just a little bit, but you can barely hear any of it. Um, with the other sets, it's like a grinding noise, and it, it sounds really really bad. Like the plastic is like shedding off the piece. Um, and then of course we have just a little weapon function here, which in my opinion is actually pretty cool. Um, some people don't like it, but I think it adds a nice effect to the weapon. You can do that, and you know, it's, it's just kind of like one of those mind-numbing things where you're just kind of sitting doing something and then you're like, you keep doing this as I'm doing right now, it's just, it's kind of mind-numbing. So, it's, it's, it's just, it's not, it's just decoration, it's really nothing huge. I mean, overall, the weapon doesn't really affect posability. In fact, you can get some really nice poses out of it, as you can see here as I'm getting really nice action poses out of it. Uh, so it's a really nice weapon. I actually really like the weapon. I also really like the hilt down here as the uh, the little spike pieces kind of cover around the hand, kind of act as a guard down there. It's a really nice design choice. Um, and then... Uh, well, I guess, I guess that's sort of all I have to really say. As you can probably tell, I'm a huge fan of this, this version of Golly. This is a really solid, really nice version of Golly. And because of its sleekness, because it's really slim, you can still get that sort of feminine look. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it still looks moderately feminine. So now, uh, I guess overall, I'm going to give it a 9.5, honestly. There's just a few tweaks about it. You know, the Vorox armor, or, or um, not the Vorox armor, just the gappiness here. And... Overall, it's just a really, really nice set. Um, I would recommend picking it up, honestly. It, it's just it's a really complete and nice set. So we're just going to take Akita here, and we're going to attach her to the back. Um, oh, you know what? I guess I just realized that the axle doesn't really go into anything, so I apologize for that, um, that inconsistency right there. I guess the axle doesn't really have a huge part in anything, it just is there for stability. So don't worry about that axle, disregard the fact that I said that, um, and be on your merry way. So, normally in the Unity mode, you are supposed to put the golden mask on. I guess I should say that the golden mask actually looks pretty good on this set, even there not being any more gold on the set. I think it's just the really vibrant dark blue, the trans dark blue up here that really just sells it for me. Um, and this also fits on top of the head much nicer than Lee and Pohatu's did either, so uh, it looks really, really nice. Um, and then, of course, I like to just kind of pull the fins out here. And then, now I finally realized when I built, when I put this together, why, why Akita, her function is for the weapons to go forward. It's... It's strictly for this. The Vorox armor does like to get in the way of this one, so what I do is I just adjust these up one click, and boom, it, it looks fantastic. Honestly, this this looks just, this is a fantastic unity. 
Um, it still has the whole upper weight issue, just like the other Unities, but it's really not... It just looks really nice, you know? It's a really nice Unity, and honestly, both of these sets, Akita and Golly, are just... They're blowing me out of the water. Ha ha. Ha, fun. But really, they are really, really nice. Like, I didn't think... Normally, water is not the element I go for first, but... This is definitely a step up from the other water-based sets we've gotten before. Protector Water was sort of a meh last year. Golly, which I'll get to in a second, was also not my favorite, but still a pretty decent set, I would say. So yeah, that's Akita. I also have a review of her out. So now we're just going to quickly glance at her 2015 counterparts and compare the two to see what's similar, what's different, and what's there to like more, what's there not, what's there to like less about the improvements that they've made. All right, so here is Golly. Sorry about that. So here is Golly, uh, Master of Water, and here is Golly, Uniter of Water. All right, so uh, first off, stability. This one has a really huge weapon, and that is just I didn't like that from the start. Um, and I'm sorry, that was my fault. I'm having a lot of issues in the studio today, guys. Um, so this one has a lot of stability issues because of that huge weapon. Of course you can take the tops off and put them on her feet, but without doing anything to the set, it has a lot of stability issues. Golly Master of Water is just it it just the, the this arm has is so weak for this weapon. Um so that's very apparent and that's not good. Um on the other hand, this weapon is very light, but it still looks really nice and it really works out. Um, I did compare the size, the tallness of them. Um, I know you probably can't see it, they probably look like the same height. But this one actually is slightly taller than the Master of Water. Um, so that might be nice. The addition of the Dark Trans Blue might be nice to some of you. Of course, I love the addition of Orange. It looks so much better than this. Uh, Gunmetal and Silver. It just looks vibrant. It looks, you know, stands out as a Toa of Water. And overall, just a phenomenal set we have here. And of course, I'm not bashing this golly. I still think this one's good, but if I were to if I were to buy one of them, if I only had one choice, I'm gonna go for that one. Honestly, out of the three one the three um uniters I've opened so far, there's only one that the twenty sixteen version I would have bought over the twenty fifteen, and that is golly. So, yeah, I actually really do like this set. I've heard some people didn't really like the pictures when they came out, but, you know, I think it's a perfect set. I think it's a really, really nice set. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this light review of Golly Uniter of Water. Tomorrow, I'm going to be taking a look at Tahu and Onua. On Wednesday, I'll be taking a look at Umarak. And then on Thursday, or New Year's Eve, I'll be taking a look at Kopaka and Melon Unity set. So, um, I will... Uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.